I say hello and hi to all the Inspire Zone magazine viewers watching us right now. Today we have a great star. Uh, we are going to interview him in a bit. Let me just invite him and let us start this roller coaster ride. And uh, let us, you know, um, ask him to join join us. Mike Messi is going to be with us today. And as soon as I invite him, let me just check. Oh yes, go live. Superstar is going to be with us in a bit and we'll be live interviewing him and let's see how things work out today because uh, we inspire zone magazine as usual here we go yes mike messi is with us ladies and gentlemen um just in front of you let me just uh, get the volume done hello mike how are you doing sir hello i'm doing very well thank you for having me thank you thank you for accepting uh to be edition and uh, we have him live uh, in person right now we are live, live with Mike Messi he is on the cover of Inspire Zone magazine first of all thank you for your time Mike Messi tell uh, the viewers about yourself and how did you enter into this, into this industry and your inspirations first of all I would like to thank you and all the team of Inspire Zone magazine for having me and uh, all these preparations because I know I've been working very hard um, and I would like to invite all the fans of course to go and check your page because there is also the full interview the written interview that will be completely different from the interview we're having today so thank you for your time and for the cover because I really like it um, well, I've started this journey about more than 25, even more, maybe 30 years ago, if I need to be very consistent mm -hmm. as well. Uh, but of course, I've been leaping into the industry uh, on the professional level, maybe around 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. and my first recording was uh, at a very national, uh, local radio. And at, at the time being, we used to also record songs at the radio. So that was around 20 or maybe a little bit more, 23 mm -hmm. years ago. But professionally, I mean, I would say my first uh, recording, like my first album that has been released uh, was 20 years ago in my first yeah. album. And since then, um, like you wrote in your in your on the cover of the magazine, I think it has been yes. uh, a roller coaster on all levels. Twenty if, um, years of roller coaster, emotional exactly. roller coaster. You said that exactly. yes, exactly. So from uh, just to uh, cut you here a little bit, you know, our um, your fans want to listen one of your old song, maybe twenty years back. Let them take uh, down to the memory lane. A few lines from one of your, um, you know, uh, a song from the album 20 years back. Well, I was not prepared uh, for that, but why not? <laughs> I'll do just a few, uh, maybe like... Um, or any other song. Or no, that yeah, would be nice. That would be nice, actually. Yeah. I would play and sing it. That would be a nice uh, thing. Or just, uh, uh, I just need to remember how it worked. <laughs> Yeah, but that uh, that's what's about Instagram live I think it's uh, it's nice to be very uh, spontaneous yeah. about it um, as far as I can remember it was something like تمسحوا دموعي أنت حريتي تطلق قيودي أنت حريتي 
Wow, that's so great. That's so great. It's so refreshing uh, listening to you after a long time and you're kind of, you know, making, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're being back now in the industry with more power, more enthusiasm. Tell us about the journey so far. You said it's 20 years of emotional roller coaster. Uh, so what made you, you know, come back with a new album? You have already done like five studios, more than four albums, uh, uncountable number of songs, great superstar. How does it feel to be back? Well, first of all, I, I need to say, uh, I've been blessed to have a notoriety uh, like fans and friends who supported me throughout these 20 years uh, of career professionally because they were very patient with the fact that I'm very much of an impulsive artist uh, when it comes to choices of songs, when it comes to choices of repertoire, when it comes to choices mm -hmm. of jumping from a style to another, from a genre to another, just because I like it. And I've always, um, I would just also, oh, I, I would like to say hello also for Sama Shufani, a great artist who is also now watching us. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, I would like to say hello for Karl Fernayme and Yal Salam. These are great artists, Lebanese and Palestinian great artists. So, um, yes. hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. So, I've been saying that during these 20 years, I've been changing my mind a lot, changing my style a lot, changing my genre, jumping from pop to acoustic pop, pop to classic. I went to jazz and some of some Sufi music. I've been mm. working a lot in the under, on so many levels. And also, I've yes. done a beautiful lately in France, maybe three or four years ago. Um, all these, I've been blessed to experiment with uh, variety uh, throughout uh, you know, mm. my path as an artist. And also, I've been blessed to have a notoriety that is very loyal to what I'm offering them. Um, mm. Of course, backing off from the industry from time to time mm. could be sometimes very dangerous, could be very risky when we yeah. are very impulsive in my case. But of course, I'm blessed also to have an, an amazing uh, equipe uh, surrounding me and helping me be grounded and know mm. when at what time I need to back off and when and at what time I need to come back to the industry. Yeah. Really, really away. I would, I've been hibernating for a while. It's not a complete close. I was hibernating for a while because I've been seeing the world going crazy. Uh, I've been seeing the world um, not ready uh, for a new adventure as if the world was not pause. So that's the first reason I took I was hibernating, and the second, mm -hmm. I think I needed a change in terms of crowning myself on the personal, spiritual level. I needed mm -hmm. to get some resources to get inspired again so I can write music. But what I can assure you and all the fans that I was not wasting time. I was really working very hard on new music. And throughout the coming months, you will see I'm going to be releasing one song after the other. And then I have good news for everyone. I will be releasing a new song on the 23rd of March. So uh, it's a great news. Gonna different. It's going to be very new mm -hmm. as in mm -hmm. terms of the image of the music video that I directed myself with the help of so many other artists like wow. Yal and Fanny. And I've uh, recorded something in a different uh, dialect. It's not a Lebanese dialect. So this is also the first time. This is very new for me. And also, um, I... You know, I, I've been very adventurous in, in terms of the sound and the sound design of the song. So be prepared for something new on the 23rd of March, Mark your calendar. So it's a breaking news for all your fans that 23rd March is the day when you need to tune, on, tune in with, uh, you know, uh, Mike Messi and make it wonder that it's a new song coming out. One word you have used uh, for your new albums, for your new sound, songs uh, coming up is maturity. So what do you mean by uh, being 
you know, uh, the maturity, what is the level of maturity, what new uh, your fans are going to witness now, Mike? Mm. You know, we sometimes spend a lot of time uh, just trying to search for something that doesn't exist or just trying to search for something new. Well, the people do not really wait for something new out of the artist. They just want to relate to a song, a very simple mm. one. Oh, I've been spending a lot of time saying, oh my God, no, this is too old. No, this is, I have to change this and that and blah, blah. And after the while, I discovered that as a matter of fact, time, mm -hmm. experience and maturity are the key yep. to experiment something new and share with people what I was really doing in the past month, in the past year, and throughout exactly. the 40 of my life, because I'm turning 40 very soon. So, Th that's right. uh, that said, uh, it's not very important all the time to, uh, you know, how do you call that, to complicate things. What um, really matters is the being truthful and that the artist offers something that we, he really likes and loves and is passionate about. So he can be truthful, I mean, the artist, she, he can be truthful to themselves uh, mm -hmm. when they offer it. So what I did in the in the new upcoming songs is just being myself more and more. And I think with maturity and aging, people become more and more themselves, actually, whether for the good or the bad part of it. So I hope that they're going to enjoy the, the me, the new me that I, I constantly update day by day and minute by minute. That's great. That's great, Mike. Mike, we will come uh, to one of your, uh, from your interview as well. Uh, you have discussed about your crush. An Italian girl. We are going to come on that. Let the fans wait for it. <laughs> but before that, uh, give us something. Give us something for the fans. You know, the old crush days when you know you saw a girl and you were like you fell in love or you had a crush. What lines came to your mind? A few lines for girls watching you right now and the young boys watching you right now. Oh my God, I'm very bad at that. You know, also I. Uh... <laughs> I don't catch signs in general, you know, from anyone who likes me a little. Uh, no, but speaking of which, uh, you were talking about this thing. When I was around, I think, 12, 13, it was the beginning of my teenage years. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister was in her young youth, teenage, I mean, late teenage, young youth. And she was like crazy. I mean, she was crazy about a, a boy, I remember. And that mm -hmm. boy made her listen to an Italian singer and this Italian mm -hmm. singer. So she came one day with this cassette, you know, with the Italian singer and said she played it. Mm -hmm. And it was very surprising that this something amazing. And the song was called La Solitudine. And the singer was called Laura Pausini. She's mm -hmm. an Italian All right. Italian. And I started listening to these songs and, um, and I mean, and, and repeating them by heart, memorizing them without understanding a word of uh, Italian. And speaking of which, I tweeted maybe last year or the year before, I tweeted to Laura Pausini, thank you for all the Italian you, you made me listen to. And I told her the story, so she repeated back and said thank you. And I was really yes. very touched because this is my teenage crush, Laura Pausini. And the moment I saw her, it was on Eurovision. She was singing La Solitudine, I fell in love. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to meet her one day. I'm going uh, to you know, marry her one day. And now, of course, I understand that she's not going to do that with me. So... Uh, I uh -huh. wish, one wish, one of the wishes that I have is just to meet her and continue one day and maybe share a duet with her. Oh, that's a great story. That's a great story. A few lines for for your first ever crush, the Italian crush. Oh, for Laura Pausini. I yeah. don't know. I'm gonna Google the lyrics because I can't remember everything anymore, and I'm sure I'm gonna say. Uh, in a or any of the song. Maybe uh, for any other yeah. two demand lyrics. I have a computer in front of me, like everyone. Uh -huh. yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna ju maybe just sing uh, <laughs> two lines of that because it's a uh, really common though. Uh, la, 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 la. Mm. 
la solitudine. Oh, I, um, I remember something like, uh, Non è possibile dividere la vita di noi tu. I can't remember. You're putting me, you're embarrassing me. If she wanted to do it. So great, so great. <laughs> no, your fans, your fans, Mike, your fans want to listen to you. They want to, you know, just listen to songs I'm and gonna, you know, yeah. your stories. No, this is in, uh, that's why. Just a second. All right, otherwise I'm going to sing one of mine. Or maybe later on, one day, yeah. uh, like an maybe Arabic later. version of Houdini, who knows? Oh, yes. Yeah, any version, any version you like, Mike. All right. It's not opening, and I'm not going to put myself into embarrassments more than that. I'm going to sing one of my uh, very first uh, songs, which is in my second album, Yazama. And I'm going to sing right. the title, Yazama, because my fans asked me to, so I'm going to do that. Do that, yeah. So if anyone wants also to ask any question down there, I'm ready to answer. Yeah. Yes, in a lonely Great, great, great. Standing ovation for Mike Messi. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Messi is on the Inspire Zone magazine cover page. And you can uh, go and read his full, full interview uh, on uh, Inspire Zone magazine uh, as well. And today we have him live in front of us. Uh, we are trying to, you know, get as much as songs, uh, you know, as much as live songs uh, from Mike Messi. And thank you for cooperating with us, Mike. Uh, tell us about your fitness, uh, your food, uh, you know, priorities, what kind of food you like. Lebanese food is famous all over the world. Tell your fans about your foods and, you know, stuff like that. You're asking me so many embarrassing questions. I've been eating so much lately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was not working out for the late last maybe two or three months because I had an injury in my knee. So now mm -hmm. that I much better I will get back to it but usually usually I work out three times a week at least mm -hmm. uh, what about food I love food. I love I love food I love I, my favorite Lebanese dish would be uh, kibbe for example one of my favorite mm -hmm. uh, and I, I'm, I'm very much uh, a big fan of Thai food Thai food I love Thai food I love Chinese which I love uh, and why not you? Uh, why don't you come and invite me for for Pakistani please? Oh, yes, I was about to ask you. Uh, you know, biryani. Are you, uh, do you have any plans to come to Pakistan someday and you know eat food I'd here? Love to, I'd, love to, all I'd, love to, I'd love to because I have friends there, and I would love to go and and visit. Really, maybe a concert there would be amazing, yeah. and I'm gonna be eating all the food of the world there. That that would be great. Uh, that would be great. And before we say uh, bye to the fans, 
and before we just you know say bye to, uh, to the fans and whoever is watching us right now who will watch this interview uh, your shout out for inspire zone magazine and uh, in the last i know you are going to kill me for this one more song uh, um, mike uh, just at the ending note of this interview if you may please sure it's my pleasure uh, i would like to invite you all everyone to go and follow the inspire zone magazine uh official page and uh maybe just check out the cover and read the uh full article the interview that i enjoyed so much as well i hope mm -hmm. you guys enjoyed this live interview on instagram it has been a while i know i'm really really sorry about the hibernating time that i've been really hibernating for so long but i needed it and i know you understand that so thank you for your patience thank yes. you for your loyalty and i hope you really enjoyed that and of course with a great pleasure i'm going to sing a last song just to yes. thank you for everything you've been doing and thank you very much for this lovely interview i enjoyed it so much thank you mike i'm going to sing my last song before saying goodbye yep. um uh from my album bravo it's called bad the dia and everyone also asked me to sing it when i posted this story and asked them what they wanted to yeah All right just a second بدي اطلع عالي بدي غير التاريخ wow 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 that's so Thank great you, you know even even uh, mike i couldn't understand the lyrics but you know it touched me here literally the soul of your voice you know it touched me uh, straight from heart from the heart you know it it was great thank you very much that touches my heart and uh, i'm always very happy also when i have an audience that doesn't understand arabic but understands yeah. the language the universal language that is called music so thank music. you very much that's great mike once again thank you for being with us with inspire zone magazine and thank you for being a uh, part of uh, the inspire zone magazine cover photo thank you very good. much and i wish you a very lovely uh, afternoon i think it's uh, around 3:30 in pakistan right, right now yes now that want to say hello for everyone thank you everyone watching us live on this interview it has been a while again and let's connect and thank you for the inspire zone magazine for giving me this opportunity to initiate a, a small chit chat with the fans i love you everyone mm -hmm. and let's uh, meet very soon don't forget to listen to my latest bilal al arabi hello biggest uh, huge superstar bilal al arabi hello thank you for for the hearts i love you too uh don't forget uh, to listen to the soundtrack of salon zahra that i released a few weeks ago 
uh, don't forget also to uh, read the article on Spirezone magazine. And of course, on the 23rd of March, I'm going to be releasing a new song I hope you will enjoy. I love you all. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for your time.